okay now so we are going to design the inside of an exercise book so now this is the inside of the exercise book i just did right now so you can see that there is a space at the top here and at the down here there is a space uh -huh. so we are going to and you see there is a red line here and another one here then so we are going to design the same matter i have done here so you go to file the new then you go to the size i measured an exercise book i have here and the size was uh, in the unit was in centimeters and the size was the 35.99 and the, that was the width and the height is 24 very good so um, and it's in a landscape then you click on create yes so as soon as your document is ready you use your guide here so first of all you change your guide here uh, the unit of the guide to centimeters and if you don't see your guide here go to view then ruler you check on ruler very good so you change your it to centimeters mine is already in centimeters then after that you just use your guide you click and you drag your guide into the middle and i'm using photoshop 2021 20, so as soon as it will get there it will snap it will snap uh -huh. very good you can also locate the middle by calculating it manually very good so now i have my middle here and you see there is this top here and there, there is a space at the top here and a space at the down here and that space is three centimeters so i'll use my guide at the top here my horizontal guide and i'll locate three you can zoom you can zoom for you to look if you don't see the three zoom to locate the three very good so now i have my space here and the down one is also three so the last number is 24 so if it is 24 then 24 20 then I'll, I'll i'm becoming down 24 22 and 21 so i'll bring it here i will zoom it a bit yes then i'll come to 21 here very good now my my uh, i have the space here and the space here and you can see there is also you can see this red line the space between the red line and this one here is 2.5 centimeters so i'll just use my guide at the top here this one is i'm at zero so 2.5 is here i can zoom in so that i'll be sure that it's on 2.5 so the same way you do one you do the same at the other side so here is on 18 18 the middle is on 18 so if it's on 18 then i'll use my guide then 8 from 18 then you go to one uh, uh, 20 then 25 okay so um, 2.5 very good let me uh -huh. I think it's here very good so that will fall on uh, 18 19 20 then 20.5 okay very good let me check for 1 2 3 4 No, it should be yeah, two point five. Very good. Or you can make it three. It depends on the book that you are doing. But it's time for us to draw uh, the lines that you see in the book. This line, have you seen all these lines? Yes. So now uh, we are going to draw. I think the height was. So let me draw here very good then i'll change the height to 0 0.08 0 0.08 and the height 
this in 24 centimeters very good now then i'll change the color to this color yes because i've already used the color that's why so i'll I, you can click here then change the color to i think the color code is also here very good now i have so let me extend this one i'll extend this one to so i make sure i position it at on this with the head of my arrow top top arrow key yes very good so very good now that we have um, now that we have one here so we are going to duplicate all of them to fill this place and normally the lines are always some, some of them is 25 or 26 so now and you can as you can see here the this the interval between this one and this one is think um 0 uh, 0.8 0 0.8 centimeters so uh, as i have this year this is on three so the the first one is on three so the next one will be zero, uh, 3.8 here very good and the next one will be 4.6 4.6 is here very good you do you do this for only these two then after that you just select this um, line here then you press ctrl plus j ctrl plus j it will duplicate um, this rectangle for you or you can right click and click on duplicate and it will duplicate it for you after that you use your arrow key to bring it down to bring it down okay. if it is slow you can just um, press on shift then you bring it down to be a yes, very good so we are just going to copy copy all of them then to fill this one so i will i will select this one this, the bo both of them and press ctrl j then i'll bring it to the down I'll bring it to the down here by my arrow key so make sure that the first one will come down to this guide very good as you can see very good so the next thing you do is you select all of them again then you control plus J or you duplicate them then with the help of your arrow arrow uh, down key you bring it down here or you can press on shift and you bring it down here undo okay, so let me press on shift very good now i'll select all of them again ctrl plus g then i'll press shift then i'll bring it down very good you make sure that the interval is is the same i'll select all of them again ctrl plus g then i'll shift so that it will be in a straight line it will even snap when the spacing is okay very good it will have it will have it only one then control j bring him down
yes photoshop is intelligent to you know we need another one at the down there so control control g bring down yes very good now so we are almost done and left with the this red line you can see here so very good now i'll select this one then i'll duplicate control j after that i'll bring the arrow here i'll press on shift then i will rotate you see that the arrow has changed if you don't press on shift you won't get a regular one like imagine you, you, you didn't press you didn't press on shift you see uh, you won't get you want 90 degrees so if you press on shift it will move in 45 45 45 so i'll press on shift i'll bring my arrow small apart from the shape then i'll see very good. now so i'll bring it here Here and bring it here that is where the red line should be i'll bring it down for article it has to cut across this thing very good then i want to reduce this one here can make it uh, very good then you come to down okay the down there is okay so remove remove this one from there that you change the color of this one to let's click here change the color to red wow you are done then you select it again you duplicate control j or you can press on the alt then you click and drag press on the alt you see the arrow has become one has become deep another one will become white it means that you can copy just be sure that it, it is selected yes then you bring it here so guys we are almost done after that you can remove your guide the guide With the exception of the the middle one Okay, so guys, this is how you can do it. Thank you very much.